Hello and welcome. It's Joy Cube, and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast doing a redo on uh, this is a really nice large hexagon, hexagonal, hexagonal, whatever however you say it, canvas. Um, I did a pour on it and I just didn't like it at all. The pour had fully dried. I've just given it a flood coat of um, some grey that I had pre-made up, just with my normal pouring medium. Oh, there you go, got it everywhere. Um, so I've given it a coat of that. I just went over it with the sponge brush. So I'm going to see if I can get anything um, you know, nicer happening in this canvas. I really hope so, because it's a really nice big canvas. And um, I want to see what I can do with it. So, so, so. I am going to just try a thing here, trying a thing. So just bear with me and let me try this thing. Again, I might end up having to scrape it off, start again, but I'm just gonna try a thing. So this is just violet, violet. So I, th I think, oh yeah, it goes nice with gray. It's a steely gray. Um, and then I have some Berry Delicious, which is like a very dark uh, cherry, which I make up myself. So I'm going to pour some of that in. I'm just going to try and do a, uh, a different colour base. Let's... I shouldn't say anything, I should just do it because it never, when I try to plan something all nice and planned, yes, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that, it never turns out. So this is just my normal acrylic white that I've got mixed up. So let's see if I can get a different kind of background up the top there for what I'm going to do down the bottom here. The plan. Rightio, I've got my blower, so I'm going to use my blower. Wish me luck! That looks dark and moody, doesn't it? It's not too bad. This is fine, fine, fine. Let's just see how we go here. Um, I'll put some more band of white in here. These shaped canvases, these hexagon canvases, go nice if you've got a small wall in a hallway or somewhere and you just want some think on that wall the feature they're really yeah they're really nice so 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 I have got cool red nice big load of cool red I might actually do this with my stirry stick so it's kind of mixing the techniques here with the which I've been calling my Dutch pour with more. So it's got a bit of a Dutch pour and this is the more, the more, more, more. So that was cool red and this, was that cool red or warm red? Oh, cool. One's cool, one's warm. So this is the other, which is more orangey. But I think, what is she doing? And I'm going to throw in some fluoro orange. Really brighten up proceedings. I'm remembering how much I love my bright colours. I'm going to really blow your socks off now. 
and put some really bright yellow in it. I know lots of people when I've put yellow they say don't like yellow it's not my color well that's okay <laughs> don't put yellow in your painting <laughs> um, but don't criticize other people that like uh, a color in their painting because that's you know we're all different aren't we so it's all good when it's your own painting that's you know you do what your heart chooses remember your art room, your rules, your way. Oh, I am risking it for a Swiss kit here. Risking it for a Swiss kit. Um, I think that's probably enough colour. Um, I might put a bit more of my very delicious because I just love this so much I'm going to just use my heat gun to um, get rid of any of the bubbles air bubbles in the paint you see I've got oh. Um, oh, I've got a bit of cracking happening there. Please, no. No, 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 no. That's because I, as I said, I've painted underneath this. And I'm just hoping it stays okay and not all cracks up. Or oh, please don't. It's already cracking the paint that's it was crazing like so it's like I said it had paint underneath and I haven't um, re gone over it with gesso or anything but it's worked out good for me in the past but it may not be that way today let's fingers crossed okay this down a bit perfect oh I am so hoping that this doesn't crack that is just trying to reuse a canvas that I wasn't too happy with and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, so I'm, I'm going to flood in all the cra any crazing that happens. But I'll just go with it, see how we go. Okie doke. I'm going to try doing some balloon work. If it is too uh, wet in there to do my balloon work, I will have to walk away, which I think it is way too wet. I might have to leave that. But in the meantime, I might quickly show you, I know loads of people have said, why don't you use the balloon dip on another canvas? And I can quickly, quickly do that for you while we're kind of, that's drying in a little bit more. I don't think, I really do not think this is gonna work because this is already crazing. And am I wasting my time? Oh, such a shame, such a shame. Never mind. Now I wish I hadn't have touched the original, but I did, so I can't really say, you know, you can't go back. You've made a decision, just go with it. I've got my big girl Nikki News on, and I'll just accept that I made a wrong decision. I've just covered a smaller canvas in white. And I'm just going to use that, the dips off this one to just do something. I'll just show you. I'm just spreading the white out and I will use the balloon dips off the big one to put onto this canvas, just in some areas. I'm just going to quickly, hopefully produce a nice little, so I will dip, kiss, and then... And I'll show you it 
as I go along after I've done a bit more so the dip 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 it's not actually coming out on that canvas real well nothing is working today it's a bit better a little bit better see when the paint is that wet it is just falling in um, so the idea is is just to usually just walk away from it until you um, allow the paint to absorb into the canvas and come back to it and you will get much better results because your paint has absorbed into the canvas it's dried off a bit even a little bit tacky you paint um, it works out a lot better if your paints a little bit tacky so just trying to work with this and hope that I can get I hope that I can save this canvas because it is as I keep saying it's a lovely canvas please I will lift up the little canvas that I've been doing some of these balloon dips on when I've finished because it's just too difficult trying to show you the both while I'm doing them. Just try um, definitely wiping off your balloon in between each balloon kiss because then it is less chance of um, sending your work muddy. I'm really liking this so I'm really crossing my fingers that this doesn't just go just fall apart oh no look at these the only thing I might have to let it dry and then go over the top bit again I don't think it'll happen where I've got the pore, but it's definitely happening. Definitely happening in the areas that's just got that grey paint over it. Anyway, I've tried. I think that I probably best leave it at that. Oh, that's made that a bit clunky there. That should not. I should not have done that. making the old kissy sound okay I am going to call that quits I am going to um, I'm not going to move it it is crazing there I will let you know what happens with this I will take some photos now and then I'll try and take them when they're dry if this all crazes up I might have to just try and um, embellish it or paint it in afterwards but if the whole lot cracks then it's just a bin job it is a terrible shame about that but I like the idea of blowing that up to add some softness um, and then I've got the bright 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 cover me in sunshine okie doke I'll show you this little canvas I didn't want to do too much on it so that's my small one now that's nice so if I get nothing out of it and I only get that small one um, that's okay you just try your best like with everything in life you try your best some things uh, work and some things don't do they so I will um, leave that to dry and absolutely hope that it does not crack because it actually looks so cool we will see all right well thank you so much for joining me you know I really appreciate it and um, until tomorrow my lovely people please take care of yourself feeling sad and lonely please ring a friend or a family member or a helpline nobody needs to suffer on their own so <clears throat> excuse me until tomorrow, bye for now.